Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna finish up our website by adding the responsive code. This is probably gonna be a pretty quick video. We don't have a whole lot to add. So we're gonna be working exclusively in the CSS file today. And down here at the end of the last part, we created this responsive tag. So here we're going to create our breakpoints for the website. And I think we're gonna be using a max of three today. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the browser up here. If I drag this on screen, you'll get a good look at how this is going to break. Everything is a mess and everything's overlapping each other. So we've got a lot to change. So let's start off with our first break point. We're gonna set it around 1200 pixels. So we're gonna go at media, only screen, and then in parentheses, we're going to say max dash width, and then let's set that to the 1200 pixels. Then we can open that. So everything in here is going to rewrite everything above when we are meeting these guidelines. So first thing I'm going to do is I like to set the body a background color of red, and that allows me to visually see when this breakpoint is going to become active. So you can see here it's already active. So if we drag over, it should break there. Okay, so everything on the site needs to look good up until that breakpoint because that's going to be our first one. So I'm just going to scale in and find where it breaks. Okay, so this text is going to overlap and everything else should be more or less okay. So now that we found that and that's gonna look like a good spot for a breakpoint, I'm gonna target the header and I'm gonna set the height to 100 VH and then the min height is gonna be changed to 1000 pixels. And that's gonna give us a little bit more room to work with. Then we can target the header H1 and I'm gonna adjust the spacing on that. We're not gonna need so much space on mobile, so we'll set the margin to 50 pixels on the top, zero on the right, 40 on the bottom, and zero on the left. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back up, and you'll see our spacing is now being adjusted. The next thing I wanna do is adjust this button. We don't need this much spacing here. So we'll say dot .btn white, and inside of there, we're going to set the margin on the bottom to 80 pixels. So everything in the header should look good at this size, which it does. And if we scroll down, this is still looking good. This needs to be a little bit wider. So let's go ahead and grab the class we used on that, which was dot call to action. So dot call to action. And here we'll just set the width of that to 90%. I think originally it was at 60 the last thing I want to do in the header section is I want to remove the iPad. So we targeted the iPad with a class of iPad. So I'll say dot iPad. And we're going to display that at none. We also created a phone class called dot iPhone. And we're going to set that as a display of block. Now we've already applied the styles to this in the last part. So everything should look good, which it does. So now we can remove this body background color. I'm going to copy it before I do that. And we are done with this breakpoint. So the next breakpoint I'm going to be setting is at 900 pixels. So we'll just do the same thing we did at media only, screen, and, and then in parentheses we need to set the max width. And we'll set that to 900 pixels. And then we can open that. I'm gonna paste in the body background color as red. And now we can see where that's gonna break. So we'll just drag over. So that breaks right here. So let's take a look at that. The first thing I want to do is adjust the header H1 width. So header H1, we're gonna set the width of this to 100%. Next, I want to target the header itself. 
and I'm going to set the background and I'm going to adjust the position to make it look a little bit better. So we're going to set that to the left and then center it. So now we have Deadpool by himself here. So now we have our iPhone breaking and we had the iPhone for around the tablet size long enough. So we're just going to go ahead and remove it now. So I'm going to say dot iPhone and then we'll say display of none. So now we have that, it's looking nice and clean. The next thing I want to adjust is the footer because that is starting to break. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust that. So footer, UL is the first thing we're gonna target and we're gonna float of none on that to cancel out the float we have applied. Display of block and text align to the center. Next, we need to target the dot copy. Copy is the class containing the logo and our copyright information. We're going to text align that to the center as well and display of block on that. We have some margin on these and it's only applied to one side, so it's not exactly centered. So we're going to adjust that margin. So we'll say footer. ULLI and we're going to set the margin to 0 and then 25 on each side. Instead of having 50 pixels applied to the left, now everything should be centered and it is. So that should be everything we need for that section. So let's go ahead and copy the background color adjustment and then delete it. So let's go ahead and add our third and final breakpoint, which is going to be at 700 pixels. So at media only screen and max dash width 700 pixels and then we can paste in the body background color and see where this is going to break right here so we're going to go ahead and switch to our mobile navigation we're going to adjust our movie posters so they are displayed in a column instead of a row and then we can hide these links down here at the bottom. So let's adjust the 4K movie section first. So dot new 4K movies, UL. That's going to target both unordered lists. And we'll say flex direction column. Now these are quite large, but we are on most large phones and small tablets. Now let's adjust our navigation. So dot desktop is our desktop nav. Display of none. And then dot mobile for our mobile nav. Display of block. Again, we already have the CSS applied. So that is just going to look really nice for us. There it is. I'm also going to adjust some spacing. So nav ul li. We're set the margin to zero. And then we also need to hide these links. So footer, ULLI, and display of none. The last thing I'm going to do is lower the overall H1 font size because it is a little bit too large. So we'll say H1 font size, and we'll set this to 36 pixels. And with that, we can go ahead and remove the body tag, and that is all of the code for all three breakpoints. So we take a look at the website. We have our mobile nav, and everything is looking good. Our posters are in a column. We have our footer. We can go as small as we want, and everything is still looking good. And then we can expand this all the way back up, and you'll see things adjust. Here we'll have our phone for a while, and then we'll go back to a tablet for desktop and TVs. And then we're back to normal size. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video applying the responsive code for this website. You guys really seem to like this particular design. So if you guys have any ideas for future design to code videos of what type of websites to make, let me know down in the comments on this video, and I'll make sure I try to get to those. I hope you guys enjoyed this. 
Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more You Have Related content. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.